Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another Love Bite. Taurus, let's see what's the message here for you today. And a warm welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Taurus Spirit, what's the message for my Taurus gang? Taurus. All right, Temperance, Nine of Swords. Somebody who took too long, I guess. Maybe that person walked away and there's a lot of stress and anxiety about it. They want to talk. This person wants to talk, but somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, four of uh, pentacles in reverse. I think somebody wants to open up or talk or uh, kind of heal this connection. They feel that person has walked away from them. Now they're at crossroads. They feel everything backfired on me. I may not get a second chance here. They're very frustrated. Very. But they are in love. Okay. There is a lot of love, a lot of emotions, but I think they've never really expressed them. So let's see. I'm going to clarify these cards for you, Taurus. But first, let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify these. Taurus and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Taurus and their person spirit. Taurus and that person. All right, let's take a few more Taurus from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Taurus and that person spirit. Taurus. Taurus and that person. All right. All right, good to go, Taurus. Let's start the reading. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, Taurus, my email is omkaratarot at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. All right. So the first card here says, I keep seeing your name everywhere. The universe is showing me signs which only lead to you. I'm working hard on myself to become a better provider for you. A union will happen in divine timing. We have to trust that. Maybe somebody was being overly patient and not offering commitment or something like that. And now they are stressed because I think the other person probably got fed, of wait, fed up of waiting, could have walked away from them. Your intuition is right. We should not trust our outsiders. Communication, text or call. Yes, somebody wants to communicate now. That's center of my spread is the card of communication here. Mm, I'm willing to offer an olive branch to you if I'm able to communicate with you. I would gladly accept an olive branch from you. I long for peace and I miss you. Your coded cryptic messages and failure to answer questions drives me up the wall. If you're worried the karmic is going to see, just call me and tell me the F in truth. It's the least I deserve. Maybe that person thought that they were with somebody else and, you know, that's why they were not committing or something. I would like you to meet my friends. I want you to be involved in all areas of my life because you are my world and I want everyone to know. I was there for you when you asked me to be and even when you were silently suffering, I heard your soul cry out to me, asking for my support. I always showed up for you. But when I needed you, where were you? You feed my heart and soul with your love. You are my best friend and my passionate lover. I love you more than anything in the world. I've always loved you and I always will. From the very first moment I looked into your eyes, I knew that you were my eternal love. Alright, so these were some of your messages, Taurus. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading with an angel blessing card. And this card, uh, Taurus, is for the person who's drawn to watch the reading. So, Taurus, it could be for you, could be for your cross watcher. All right, so let's start. Okay, so angel, angels, blessing, guidance, advice, or a message. Okay, so there is a pause going on and somebody wants to break the pause, I feel here. You guys are at uh, the standstill, maybe a pause in this connection at the moment. 
somebody is hoping it's just a pause and things aren't completely done let's see uh, spirit what's the temperance card what's the temperance yeah somebody was taking too long somebody was taking too long i think it ended up making them them look like they were just being selfish or self-centered or only thinking about themselves uh, i think the other person waited around but then finally said you know what i'm i'm casting judgment on this person i don't think i want to give them a second chance i think i'm i'm going to get out of feeling always abandoned and left out in the cold maybe this person is just a trickster or something maybe uh, whoever the person who walked away uh, they are the ones who went through a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights and stress and tension and finally finally they realize that no this is just not working out maybe you guys had a tower moment or something i think one person was really hoping that this was going to go the long distance or this could be a committed partnership this is my soul mate but i guess you guys had a tower which made this person i think walk away yeah they were not emotionally happy in this connection even though they felt that this was a soul mate connection they they realized that they i have to now give up i'm not going to wait around forever i'm not going to be at crossroads forever it's like they refused to make a choice and that's the reason i have to now stop keeping myself stuck and bound and chained in a, a never-ending cycle of uh, what if, what if, what if, especially in a connection where I'm not emotionally happy. None of my dreams and wishes are coming true. They felt that their person was being just very stubborn and being very egoistic and it was always going to be on their timing or they were busy elsewhere and they had their attention or their, you know, mind somewhere else. So now, Spirit, now what's the eight of wands now? I'm center of my spread. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. I think the person who... I think the person who never put the work in, they were lying or they never opened up, they never expressed themselves. Now they feel everything has backfired on them. All the games they were playing, everything that happened, it, they kind of feel it all backfired on them because now their person is holding back from them. Now they want to communicate. In fact, they are feeling very ashamed and embarrassed and they're feeling uh, sad and regretful about uh, whatever they did in the past. Maybe they never invested, they were holding back, but it was all a lie. And they know they played some mind games here and now they feel like a loser. They feel it all backfired on them somehow. Yes, this person could be in deep reflection now. They could be isolated. They could be feeling lonely. They want to open up and tell their person that, hey, you know what? I, I do want this. I do, I, would, I do want a four of wands with you. But somewhere they are scared that they may not even get a second chance now. Judgment in reverse. Judgment in reverse, spirit judgment in reverse yeah this person always knew they always knew that the other person was their soul mate their twin flame they always knew it but they chose not to acknowledge it or push their person away you guys could have had some argument or fight as well regarding that and they feel very foolish about that maybe they said certain things maybe they were not feeling strong enough to offer a commitment maybe at that point now they feel even if I give even if I offer something now my person is not maybe going to want me back in their life somewhere they feel they delayed it for too long or they waited too long they never put in enough work but the truth of the matter is I think this person does have a lot of love in their heart but they kind of played some mind games or emotionally manipulated their person hoping that uh, things would never shut down. I mean, according to them, the cycle would stay open or they could have another go around wherever they wanted. I think their ego, their pride came in the middle. This person was definitely playing mind games. Uh, I don't think they, they thought this connection would end. Now they are stuck. Now they feel things are in troubled waters. Now they are confused. They feel uh, they've lost out on a big cup of love. Uh, I think they are worried that they are being released now. Uh, for Okay, King of Cups, why don't you say something? You, King of Cups is in the upright. So King of Cups, I hand you the mic. Would you like to say something? King of Cups. King of Cups, they're very frustrated. They're very, very frustrated, angry, upset because mm, I don't know. 
they are still watching their person they are watching their person maybe they are hoping that their person will reach out to them first they are stuck give me more king of cups okay so they could be a little worried that their person <laughs> Yeah, this person is very discontent, very, very discontent. Somewhere they feel that they're spying. They're trying to see if their person is moving on to somebody else. They're very frustrated. They feel they're being released. Uh, four of Pentacles in reverse spirit. Yeah, they feel their person has made up their mind to cut them out of their life, will never trust them again, um, is angry and upset with them uh, and has made a choice or made a decision that, you know what, this connection is too toxic or, they leave, or they're releasing them. It's actually pushing this person now to acknowledge their feelings and realize that they do want this. They do want this, even though things have stagnated or they are, they are hoping it's just a pause and this connection can come back together. I mean, I think they always had it in their mind that this is a power couple and later or whatever. Maybe, maybe they just were wanting control and they thought their person would remain single forever. Now, because this connection has ended, this person is very, very overwhelmed and very burdened because they want this happiness back. They want this happiness back. They, but now it's like, yeah, they, they are worried that person has turned their back. Maybe there'll be competition for that person. Or maybe after whatever conflict that's happened between the two of you, they could be worried that that person doesn't even love them anymore. Or, you know, this person does want communication. That's for sure. There will be some communication one way or the other because they're feeling very stuck now. Very, very stuck. So, well, that's what I have for you. Till next time then, Taurus, love and light. Take care. Namaste.